Everyone loves drone footage. And okay, it's not hard to see why. Just look at it. But imagine shots like these, but from the surface of Mars. If all goes to plan, that'll be coming really soon to a screen near you, because NASA launched a specially made Mars drone up to the Red Planet in July 2020 as part of the Mars 2020 mission. The Perseverance of Humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the Red Planet. This little guy is called Ingenuity, and it's gonna accomplish something really incredible in early 2021, which is to complete the first powered flight on another planet. Sometimes you have to do something just to show that you can do it. When the Wright brothers flew for the first time, they flew an experimental aircraft. And in the same way, the Mars helicopter is designed to show that we can fly powered helicopter flight in the Martian atmosphere. It's designed as a proof of concept for larger aircraft in the future. This lightweight machine only weighs about four pounds, but future aircraft could be as heavy as 30 pounds and accommodate higher quality cameras and instruments. All of that reconnaissance will help NASA as it plans for a manned mission to Mars in the 2030s. 2030s? Is that how you say it? Okay, so what's this guy gonna do up in space? Shocker, but it's not just for capturing bangers for NASA's gram. Beyond its mission as a proof of concept, Ingenuity will assist the Perseverance rover with navigation through Mars. Because even from the start, the rover may need some help. Mars is rough and rocky, and the area that Perseverance will land in is called the Jezero Crater. It's a giant basin once believed to have contained water. And you can see the ancient shorelines and the topography right here, which means all sorts of hazards for the rover. So shortly after landing, Ingenuity will pop out of the rover. Underneath, it's in this thing called the belly pan. In a highly coordinated series of maneuvers, Ingenuity will break free. Once separated, it flies completely on its own, just autonomously, with onboard gyros, accelerometers, camera, altimeter, all sorts of instruments. But making something fly on Mars is entirely different than on Earth. First, there's much less air density, only about 1% of Earth's, and that equals a lot less air to push around. And then on Mars, Gravity is 62% lower than on Earth's, so things in effect weigh less. And of course, there's the extreme Martian temperature. It has an average of negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit, but the planet can swing from a high of 70 degrees Fahrenheit to a low of negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So Mimi Ung and her team at NASA spent years solving for all of that. Initial tests in a simulated low air density environment looked like this. Yeah, the aircraft was pretty much uncontrollable. But after tweaking a few things, stiffening the blades, and a pinch of NASA magic, the next prototype flew much more like how you would imagine it to. But that beautiful little flight, that's short-lived. Ingenuity has a 90-second flight time. And in between flights, it takes an entire Mars day to recharge, which is quite similar to an Earth day, 24 hours and 40 minutes. And most of that energy that it charges up is actually just used to keep itself warm. Two thirds of its energy is used to stabilize its own temperature during cold Martian nights and days. And only about one third of the energy is used for flight. But okay, I know what you're saying. I did start this video talking about drones. And while Ingenuity isn't the usual quadcopter style aircraft we think of nowadays with drones, check this out. NASA is planning to send this quadcopter called Dragonfly to Saturn's largest moon, Titan. The launch is currently planned for 2026 with a scheduled arrival at Titan in 2034, where it'll fly over dunes and rugged terrain and the frigid lakes of liquid methane on that moon, all while beaming aerial shots back home to us on Earth. 